Today's video is about effort and more specifically a quote that goes like this. So anything worth doing deserves your best effort. So that could mean a number of things. That could mean like with your job, like with your performance and whatever, like everything that you're doing with that. It could mean relationships. It could mean just anything that you commit to, a new skill, a new hobby. It deserves your best because you're only selling yourself short if you give anything less than that. I'm in the home gym right now. I have 205, 205 loaded on the bar and I could do this for like 10 reps and then rack the weight for my, like, for my final set, but I know that that would be selling myself short. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, what I'll do is put all of these weights on the bar because I know I can handle it and do as many as I can, train to failure and grow my legs. So little progress update with those. Right now that's like nothing too, too crazy. I feel like I've kind of, I've been neglecting legs lately and really trying to rest because I've had a few injuries recently um, one with my lower back, one related to just hip tightness. Um, it's not that I was doing the thing wrong, it's just I had a lot of tightness and I needed to catch up on my mobility and everything. So I'm um, trying to find some good lighting in here. Um, that's, not, that's not bad, but it makes my forehead look like super pale. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna kind of play around with that, but basically anything that you put your time into, like do your best. Like it makes no sense to just do the same things over and over, or live the same day for 75 years and call that a life. Like that's, there's a quote that goes, most people die at 25 and they're buried at 75 or something like that. Basically saying like, you're just doing the same things over and over. Or you're not like truly living you're just kind of accepting the way life is. And I just, I don't, personally, I don't want to live the same day or live the same life for my whole life. And the way that you do that, the way that you create the life that you want is by looking at the outcome that you want, reverse engineering that whole thing and coming up with actions that you can do today, not like, not things you can do tomorrow. You don't, you don't want to say like, oh, oh, I'll start this plan tomorrow for my fitness or I'll talk to that person tomorrow. Talk to that person today or do those fitness things today because that's how you really make things happen. Just do them right now. Uh, I know that like some of y'all might be about to go to sleep or something. Maybe you just woke up, but don't, don't put off to, to tomorrow what you can do today because time flies, like I'm 21. I just personally lived like the last three or four years has gone by super fast. Um, I was a, when COVID happened, I was a senior and, or like senior in high school. And then that kind of went into my college freshman year and that kind of was a crazy thing. And um, yeah, I was kind of, it's been all over the place for the past, you know, three years or so, but the one thing that I've learned is that whether it's, and I, and I recently, I previously said this, but whether it's your relationships or a new hobby or skill or your work or your mind and body, so your fitness, just give it a hundred percent because there's no such thing as failure. That's another thing I've learned. There's no such thing as failing. There's maybe you don't get the desired outcome that you want right away, or maybe things don't go, go exactly how you want them to, but you either learn or you win. There's no failure. Failure happens when you, failure is inactivity and then just refusing to learn, basically. Failure is when you quit. That's the only time that that's applicable at all. My battery's about to die, so I'm gonna cut this off. Hold on one second. I'm back. And I'm not wearing that sweatshirt anymore because it's kinda hot right now. Um, 
new battery. That's why I had to go for a second. But yeah, so what I was talking about with effort, um, I don't know what y'all have going on in your lives and we all go through our, our battles and everything and we go through fear of judgment from others, fear of change. I think that's everybody's biggest fear, but that'll be a different video. But in order to just live the best life possible, you would think that that would, that would require your best effort in everything that you do. So with that, I'm gonna finish up this workout. Um, I did 135 for 10. I, I would do two hands, but I'm holding this camera right now. Um, 135 for 10. I'm about to do 205 for five. Then um, I'll probably jump up to like the, once I put the 25s on, that'll be uh, 255. I'll probably do that for three. And then let's see, add the 15s on, that'd be 285. Do that for one. And then I'll go up to 305 because that is all of the plates that I have available right now. And um, I'll do that for as many as possible. So normally with that heaviest set, I'll wear a belt just to be on the safer side of things. Um, I, I had an injury when I was uh, a sophomore in high school, I had a back injury and that was pretty brutal, a stress fracture. So I'm always um, building up my core and everything through different exercises and compound exercises. But once I get to those last, really once I get to the last set, I just, I. I like wearing a belt because it's just extra protection, but um, I'm going to do this, finish this training. I'm going to show you all kind of the rest of the stuff I'm doing. I have squat, like back squat right now, and then I'm going to do RDLs with dumbbells just because I feel like the, the range of motion is really nice. And then what I'll probably do as well is, I'm kind of bouncing around here, but um, I'm going to do heavy squat and do a drop set, meaning I'm gonna drop the weight. So I'll probably drop it to, let's see, 255. And I'll just do that for as many as I can. Uh, and then, so it'll be heavy squatting, drop set, and then RDLs. And the RDLs will just be like 10 sets of 90 pounds, 90 pound dumbbells. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that and then what I could do, sorry if I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to piece together um, a workout right now because in this, in this home gym, I do not have a, a leg extension or leg curl. So I have to keep the exercises like basically like compound exercises. Uh, what I normally do, like when I go to a gym somewhere, I'll do uh, squat, some form of squat, um, RDLs, leg extensions, and leg curls. Uh, leg, leg extensions are for your quads, leg curls are for your hamstrings. But um, since I'm, since I don't have access to that right now, what I'll, what I'll do for the last time is barbell squats, and then a drop set, which will be lighter weight, which just helps with your mind muscle connection and then your hypertrophy overall, like breaking down the muscle so it'll grow like with the proper protein and calories and whatever. Uh, and then it'll be barbell RDLs and then dumbbell RDLs, just because that's a little bit, dumbbells will be a little bit lighter. I'll be able to focus on the, just the mind to muscle connection, go to failure, and it's just a different feeling basically. So all that being said, Thank you for staying in this video because it's just kind of, I'm kind of sick. So like if you hear my voice kind of gravelly, uh, that's why that is. And I'm um, just holding the camera. I, I look like a floating head right now. But yeah, uh, I'm going to make this more of a, not a, a series, but I'm going to be consistent from this day forward. I've, I've been kind of overthinking the way I'm doing content. I need to just focus on the education side. Like with PAS, I want to educate as many people as possible about fitness and make it about a lifestyle and habits. And it shouldn't be anything crazy. Like education in its purest form is just being able to simply explain a topic. So I just need to keep it simple, keep it entertaining. 
Uh, I'm, I'm planning on going to a really cool gym here soon. I'm, I'm not sure if it's open yet, but uh, it's called Absolute Recomp in Dallas. Um, if y'all have heard of that, if y'all are in the Dallas, Texas area, y'all probably know what that is, but I'm gonna go there pretty soon. Hopefully, be cool if I could go, go with somebody. I'm thinking about bringing my brother, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna finish this workout, show y'all what I'm doing, and then I'll regroup here in a second. It has occurred to me that not all of y'all know how to squat. So I'm gonna teach y'all real quick with a quick PAS tutorial. I think I just found the best light in, in, in here. It's like the white light mixed with the, white light mixed with the, um, this light, yellow one. So anyways, real quick, check this out. What we're gonna do is think of it like a hinge. So, your hips are gonna hinge, meaning your butt's gonna go back, butt's gonna go back, and your knees are naturally gonna go forward just a little bit. So watch this, this is what I should sort of start with, the with angle. Uh, you're gonna go like this, butt's gonna go back, you're gonna have knee flexion right there, meaning you're gonna bend your knee. Sit there, just fill your glutes, as well as your quads, especially like the vastus medialis muscle, like the teardrop muscle. And then you're gonna go right back up. So, I don't know if y'all can hear me because this mic kinda, this is the camera I use. Um, this mic sometimes doesn't pick everything up. But that is how I squat. So it's, think about it like a folding chair, like a beach chair. Your hips hinge and your knees bend at the same time. Where, where injuries happen, where just bad things happen, is they kind of take it in two parts, like someone will hinge at the hips and then drop with their knees. You don't want that. You want both things to happen at the same time. So once again, I know I've, I've, been, demonstra I've been demonstrating it um, with you know squatting with this, but just to take it really slow, once again, hold on, take it really slow once again. What we're doing is go like this, hinging at the hips, and then the knees bend at the same time. So we're like, like that. Boom. You got this, you got that. So, hope that helps if y'all are struggling with squatting. And if your form isn't good, if you don't trust your form, don't go up and wait, like you don't need to. It's about, with everything you do, whether it's fitness or whatever, it's not just what you do, it's how you do it. And once again, anything worth doing is worth your best effort. But also another saying goes, anything worth doing is worth doing right. So um, apply that to your squatting and Hopefully y'all will be squatting 500 in no time. So um, I don't currently squat that. I'm, I've been squatting under like 400 for a little bit. Like I hit 405 a while back and then I just kind of didn't go that high just because I was trying to stay healthy with all my joints and um, yeah, I was just, I was worn out because I had work and um, all my other training kind of started to suffer because I was my nervous system was always shocked uh, Because I was lifting so heavy all the time So one thing I will point out is like you'll have your periods of like really intense training And then you'll have to back off for a week or two weeks and then do 
more so like just like mind muscle like slow and controlled type training still pushing to failure but just with lower weight and i'll go over that in a different video with intensity but i'm gonna finish this workout i'm kind of all over the place once again but um kind of getting used to this format of like holding the camera up and talking and then doing the workout or cooking or doing mobility or whatever so i'm gonna finish this up and then show you all what i'm eating for dinner after this training finishes up That's so annoying. It's humbling, definitely humbling. Like whether you're new to the gym or you go back after an injury or after a while of not going and then you're weaker. Personally, like I've, I've gone to the gym consistently but I haven't squatted as heavy as I used to and it's humbling now. 305, I only got it for three. Um, but that's something I'll work on and all you can do is this, is just commit to your training, commit to your nutrition and your sleep. Like commit to getting like eight or nine hours a night of sleep. If you really wanna grow, you really wanna feel your best. And that's a topic for another video, but what I'm saying now is like commit to the action and then the outcome will follow. If you are too obsessed about the outcome, but you haven't put in the work to achieve that thing yet, you don't deserve it. Put in the work now, commit to the action, and the outcomes will follow. I'll give you all a quick little physique update, kind of. So we're gonna flip around here, and then we've got the legs. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Got that teardrop going right there. And then the little calf veins. Boom, and then upper body, pretty lean for the most part. Uh, and then those veins, those forearm veins, oh, those are, those are always kind of crazy, but what? Yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna do a quick drop set with squat. I'm gonna drop down to, I said 255, but I'm thinking about 205. No, I'm gonna do 255. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll move on to RDLs, and then uh, it'll be barbell RDLs first, and then dumbbell RDLs. And I feel like this is gonna be a really long video because I just can't, I feel like I keep saying the same stuff. But if you're watching this far into the video, thank you for watching, and please consider giving this a like if you're enjoying it, or leave a comment if it sucks. Like say, Brandon, this sucks, you need to do better. Or say your ideas for what you wanna see with all of these videos, because ultimately this is for you. This is for everybody who is either already going to the gym or somebody that's not going, that doesn't understand certain things like how to squat or how to do RDLs or like how much to rest in between, in between sets or whatever, which is like a minute, rest a minute between sets. That's what I, what I like to do. Um, but comment those things down below and yeah, I'm gonna finish this workout, which I've said like f five or six times, I feel like. But um, if y'all are enjoying this, that's great because I'm enjoying it too. If, if you're enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. But even if you're not enjoying it, I am because I just love making videos and like, helping people out in, in this way. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. 255 drop set, I'll video that quick. And then what else? Um, for dinner tonight, I'm planning on, planning on having chicken and something else, maybe like sweet potatoes. Uh, but I'll tell you all like how I normally prepare it. And then 
um, that's kind of it. That'll be kind of, that'll be the end of the video, but yeah, finishing the workout and showing y'all my dinner. So after watching that clip back, I I need to be quieter. That's crazy that I'm yelling like that. But that's just that's good because I'm that means I'm pushing the intensity. Good. <coughs> but anyways, um, the reason I stopped that set was not because of my quads. It was because of my lower back. So this is not an excuse but it's just kind of what I've noticed in the past. Like I feel like I have a long torso and taller people might have a, like they'll, they'll have more of a problem with, with this, or like longer torso people compared to short torso people. Short torso people will not like lean forward as much. When you lean forward, your lower back is fighting to like keep you upright, but shorter people can kind of stand upright and their torso is just kind of already like there's not as much activity by the lower back to like keep you upright, if that makes sense. So squatting like high reps or to failure has always been difficult for me. That's why like I was talking about intensity earlier. So increasing intensity is like that is what pushes or that's what promotes muscle growth and hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is just breaking down the muscle to signal to your body that you need to make more muscle so um, yeah when I do higher reps I notice my back kind of hurts a little bit or starts to I start to get like a lower back pump because um, it's like working to keep me upright um, but moving on I feel like I said that four times another thing you can do other than the reps with intensity intensity you have your weight sets reps and tempo so those four things contribute to your intensity so if you're feeling like too much weight or too many sets or too many reps you feel like th if, th if you feel like those things are the problem what you can do is just slow down the tempo so that it's more focused on your muscles themselves uh, like your like glutes and your quads and that way you'll be able to push to failure without like having to grind out as many reps. But ideally you mix all of those things. You have a, a nice kind of two or three to one tempo. So like two seconds on the way down and then one on the way up or three seconds on the way down. So you're controlling the weight and directing all that force to the muscles uh, and then one second on the way up. So it's like we're up here, three, two, one, like, up here, three, two, one, and then back up. So uh, try that if you're having that same problem that I was just having. But um, yeah, I'm going to, that was the last squatting set. So I'm just gonna do RDLs and then uh, that's about it. I'll just, I'll show one clip of RDLs, one clip of barbell RDLs, and it'll be like, it'll be like, three to five seconds each to keep it really short. And then I'll just show y'all what I'm eating. But um, so far, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you just wanna see the training, this is where it's gonna end. Uh, or it's gonna end in like 30 seconds or something or um, after these next two clips. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Once again, two more RDL clips. Those are the hamstrings, if you didn't know that and then dinner, and then that's the end of the video. So 
So I didn't take a video of what I ate for dinner, but here I have some chicken. And here I have some sweet potatoes with cinnamon and honey. So pretty good. Uh, normally I don't count how many calories things are anymore. I, or yeah, I don't count calories anymore. I used to when I was in high school, but I just don't really like doing that anymore. I'm trying to find a good lighting place. I'll, that looks cool. I'll just do that. Um, yeah, so I don't really like counting calories just because I'd rather commit to a lifestyle like eating foods that I know are good for me with, you know, the protein being in the chicken and then um, all the other vitamins and minerals in that. And then with the sweet potatoes, um, i trying to focus this real quick. Uh, with the sweet potatoes, you get a good amount of carbs and then the vitamins and minerals in that as well. And then, let's see, I had some bread too. I didn't really, I didn't include that, either of those pictures, but um, yeah, guys, like keeping it simple is the best thing you can do to make just consistent progress. And if you're wanting, if you're wanting to bulk, just eat more of those good foods, um, especially prioritizing protein because that's what's gonna help you build the most muscle, in my opinion. If protein is what helps you grow in repair muscle once it's damaged that should be your number one priority like with your in like whatever meal you're eating yeah what i always do is like half of your plate is protein and then the rest is like maybe a fourth of your plate is like potatoes or rice or whatever and then a fourth of it is greens of some kind like vegetables uh, just because that's good for you keeps you full and if you season them they taste really good so um, other than that, that's the end of this video. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but, um, let's see here. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but, um, that's kind of a weird angle. <clears throat> yeah, let's go back to what I was doing. Um, if y'all enjoyed this, just please like and subscribe or consider doing those things. And then also consider sharing it with a friend or somebody that you think would appreciate it with fitness or like if, if somebody's, if you're trying to get somebody to go to the gym with you or um, whatever it may be, like if, if you think they like uh, this, ty this type of content, um, educational stuff, it'll get more educational over time, but I'm just trying to get in the swing of things like posting consistently and uh, making these long videos and then the short form videos for like TikTok and, uh, and Instagram reels and all that. But uh, that's the end of today's video. Um, yeah, next one. I'm I'm trying to think about like what I was saying earlier. Uh, I'm planning on going to going to a big gym, like a uh, Absolute Recomp in I think Las Colinas or may, I think maybe there's another one um, in North Texas. Um, but be on the lookout for that. Turn notifications on if you're seeing this, and um, yeah, y'all. You know, I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next video.